Well, today's March 7th, which was a big crowd pleaser off of Chili Feast Take, and when I decided to give the fans a little sneak peek of Pray Today. Um, along with that, I'm going to answer a few questions, uh, whatever questions you may have for me. All right, well, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? I'm Fee the MC. I'm a songwriter, producer. Uh, I'm based out of Atlanta, and I'm, you know, a videographer, Emmy Award winner, a director, a graphic designer. I mean, I'm a jack of all trades. I really do it all. But um, my, my real passion is in the music. Tell us about what you're working on now. I'm working on my first retail album, uh, Prey. And it's kind of, um, well, it's, it's a big step from my, my first EP, Chili Feast Take. Um, whereas Chili Feast Take was kind of... Um, that traditional hip hop sound that kind of, it kind of dated me when I released it. So what I wanted to do was, you know, produce my own album and really, really go more introspective with it. Okay, so what can fans expect from your new project? Uh, the fans can expect big. And when I say big, I mean a big sound, big soundscapes, aggressive delivery, you know, really powerful, meaning, meaningful lyrics, and uh, a whole lot of fun. But overall, I feel like everybody's gonna walk away with, with, with something when they listen to this album. What influenced or inspired the sounds and the words that you put into this album? Um, my, my influences, my primary influences were, besides my life, um, my fans, you know, people on Twitter reaching out to me saying, hey, you know, we want to hear you do this. We want to know more about you. Uh, I had one fan say, hey, I listened to your album, Chili Feast Take, and, and I love it. You're really good. You're really talented, but I don't feel like I know you. And that hit home when I heard that. It, it made a lot of sense because as a, as a growing artist, I always wondered, okay, what's missing? And I feel like that's what makes me better. So my, my primary external influences were, were my fans. And uh, secondary influences have to be some of my favorite artists, you know, like Toro y Moi, Kid Cudi, definitely. Um, mostly producers, you know, like Flostradamus, uh, Empire of the Sun, I like them a lot. MGMT, there's a lot of uh, elect electronic influence on Prey. Um, and a lot of, a lot of like really, really valuable core lyrics that, that I want people to hear. Things that I want people to know about me. What are some of the differences between this album and Chili Feast Take? The difference between this album and Chili Feast Take mostly was, you know, Chili Feast Take was an experiment. When I did it, I put some tracks together with, you know, a, a ton of talented people. I had a, a lot of features on there and uh, and it was it was it was fun. And it was kind of like, OK, I'm going to do I'm going to do a lot of, a little, of different things to show my diversity as an artist and, and, you know, just throw it up and see what sticks. Prey is more along the lines of re a refined sound. You know, I found my niche. I know where I want to go. I have a certain direction, and the best part about it is that I produced it all. From the hi-hats down to the bass line, that's all me. So you, when you produce your own track, you can write it as you're making it, and it's, it's a phenomenal process because you're in the studio, you've got the emotion and the mood from the music, and if I say, you know, this line or this bar, and I'm writing this verse, and I want something to change here, I can do it. So with, with Prey, you can expect a very cinematic experience. It's, um, you're going to start in one place and you're going to end in another place that you never expected to be. But when you get there, you're going to wonder how you, how you never visited before. So what is the significance of the album title, Prey? Prey? Um, I called it Prey because as people go through their daily lives, or as I went through my daily life, you know, I kind of fell, fell prey to the world. You have all these external influences, you know, I got in a little bit of trouble, and, um, and, and you just kind of, 
become prey to your thoughts. And the album is all about empowering yourself. And it, and it was a big journey of self-discovery for me. So it kind of signifies that there are two sides to pray. You know, you can be prey or you can pray. And when I say pray, I don't mean pray on others or and, and I don't mean like, you know, pray to God, which is fine if that's how you get your strength. I'm saying you can be prey or you can pray on life. You can live it to the fullest, seize every opportunity you have. Do you mind giving us a little sneak peek? Hell yeah, yeah, I can, I can definitely, uh, yeah, I can play something. It's, it's, it signifies where I began and then who I am at the end. So it's my journey in one song. So I'll let you uh, hear the second half of it. And I'm running. 